Whether planets, moons, or stars, although the countless celestial bodies in the universe sometimes differ from each other, all these objects have one thing in common. They are finite entities. Basically, it can be said that the processes in the universe are also subject to a constant rhythm of decline and new formation. Those areas in which new stars and planets are born counts among the experts consequently to the most important galactic regions of all. Thus, the central question of how the formation processes of new celestial bodies in the universe are fueled has always been one of the most important aspects of modern space research. However, the fact that the investigation of the corresponding realms can also bring fabulous surprises to light has now been learned firsthand by some employees of the University of Copenhagen. In today's video, you'll find out which unexpected circumstance researchers were confronted with and some unique astronomical discoveries experts have recorded recently. Want to learn more about the most exciting discoveries and phenomena in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you'll be showing us that you enjoy our excursions into the greatest mysteries of the universe. Puzzling Discovery in Early Galaxies Within the expert world, those galaxies formed in a period three billion years after the Big Bang are considered the earliest of their kind. In principle, experts support the assumption that the primeval accumulations of those celestial bodies contained large quantities of cold hydrogen gas, which in turn served as galactic fuel for the formation of new stars. The study of these early galaxies thus promises to provide scientists with numerous insights into the formation processes within some of the oldest regions of the universe. So, when researchers were busy looking in detail at some of these early, massive galaxies, with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope and ALMA in the northern Chilean Andes, they encountered a circumstance truly unexpected. Specifically, the scientists had already identified six so-called extinct galaxies in advance, which no longer produced new stars. Originally, the scientists assumed that the early galaxies had ceased producing stars a few billion years after the Big Bang. This was when the appropriate systems had used up the internal gas fuel for further star formation. Within a new research study, experts reached, however, a revolutionary realization. The time when the cold hydrogen gas was used up stood in no direct connection with the continuous star formation. Within the framework of the observations, scientists succeeded in registering so-called continuum emissions in the millimeter range. In simple words, this is a kind of cosmic dust trail. Thanks to these observations, researchers were able to draw important conclusions about the amount of gas remaining in the early galaxies. The detailed survey of the areas provided an insight into the processes that take place deep in the heart of these distant galaxies. In general, such an endeavor is extremely difficult in the case of extinguished galaxies, since the systems in the firmament very quickly appear comparatively weak as soon as they have ceased star production. The in-depth investigations now revealed that the supply of native cold gas was not depleted during the conversion to stars. The cosmic gas reservoirs of the six old galaxies were rather exhausted in the context of another process. Which process was responsible will be deciphered over the course of future investigations. In principle, however, it's conceivable that the mysterious gas depletion is directly related to the activity of a supermassive black hole. Cosmic Bombardment Most of the known asteroids in the solar system are located in the region aptly named the Asteroid Belt. This is a clustered collection of astronomical small bodies located between the planetary orbits of Mars and Jupiter. At present, we know that at least 650,000 of the galactic rocky objects spin through this area. Some of these asteroids seem so large to terrestrial observers in the past that they were initially classified as full-fledged planets. By far, the heaviest asteroid in the main asteroid belt was to be named Vesta. The massive object, which has a mean diameter of about 309 miles, represents a protoplanet from the formation phase of our solar system. Just as in the case of the other terrestrial planets of our galactic neighborhood, Vesta was born by the adhesion of tiny dust grains. 
Later, in the final stage of the formation phase, the asteroid was to assume ever more impressive dimensions in the course of impacts from ever larger rocky bodies. At the same time, Vesta heated up more and more, whereby, finally, a near-surface magma ocean, as well as a liquid metal core in the interior of the astronomical body, developed. Over the millennia, numerous other missiles, in turn, struck the asteroid's glowing hot surface. In the context of this cosmic bombardment, material was set free and transported in the form of meteorites to the Earth. It was precisely these Vesta meteorites that were recently subjected to a new chemical analysis by experts. In the course of this investigation, researchers recognized that further galactic impacts drastically changed the composition of the asteroid crust and the mantle even after the core formation. The mass that accumulated immediately after nucleation was significantly greater than the mass that was added later. The thermal development of the astronomical small body could be constructed to a large extent with the help of special model calculations. Consequently, the experts were also able to narrow down the period of the early impacts in detail. In order for the material of the cosmic projectiles to be mixed relatively homogeneously into the asteroid's mantle, Vesta had to still be hot enough and to be convectively circulating. The models of the experts led to the conclusion that this was the case about 4.56 to about 4.5 billion years ago. Previously, however, scientists had assumed that the main phase of this galactic bombardment occurred many hundreds of millions of years later, around the time when some of the large, characteristic meteorite craters were formed on Earth's natural satellite. But this was not to be the only realization concerning Vesta that would bring hitherto conclusions tumbling down. Experts formerly believed that the corresponding impact bodies came from today's asteroid belt, but we know now that these had their origin in the inner solar system. In fact, where the rock planets of our galactic homeland originated, our blue home planet was also exposed in its early phase to a constant bombardment from the universe. Thus, the gigantic magma ocean, which adorned the surface of the Earth at that time, was constantly renewed by the impacts of the missiles over a period of many millions of years. Only after the cosmic bombardment had died down could the hot water vapor in the atmosphere cool and rain down and finally form vast oceans. Birth of Exomoons Still, the exact origin of Earth's moon is an unsolved galactic mystery. There are several different theories concerning the birth of our constant companion, but none of these hypotheses can be incontestably proven. A view beyond the galactic edge could help decode this enduring mystery, and the answer might be under our very noses. Indeed, astronomers are constantly turning their attention to the still relatively young planetary systems outside our solar system in order to investigate the formation mechanisms of natural satellites there. A few months ago, researchers were able to achieve a real milestone. They succeeded in clearly identifying a disk around a Jupiter-like exoplanet from which moons could possibly emerge. Thanks to the excellent resolution provided by ALMA, there is no doubt that the cosmic dust disk is clearly associated with the corresponding planet. The celestial body that attracted the terrestrial interest of the scientists is named PDS 70C and orbits around a star located about 400 light years away from us. The team of experts found that the surrounding dust disk has a diameter roughly equal to the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Furthermore, the structure contains enough mass to produce up to three satellites the size of Earth's moon. This sensational discovery is not only important for the unsolved question of the formation of moons. In the course of future observations, it could also be possible for the researchers to prove some theories about the emergence of planets as yet unfounded. Basically, celestial bodies are formed in dust disks around young stars. The material there serves the growing planets as galactic stock, a material consumed during the growth process. Within this process, it's possible that the corresponding planet itself develops a circumplanetary disk. In the course of many collisions, the dust and gas in this disk could condense into ever larger formations, which over the course of time grow into full-fledged moons. Although the basic features of these formation processes are largely known to astronomers, there are still many key questions to be solved in this regard. 
For example, researchers still do not understand how, where, and when planets and their moons form, although astronomers have already succeeded in adding more than 4,000 exoplanets to the star charts. The respective celestial bodies have almost always been discovered in a fully formed system. In fact, PDS 70C and its neighboring planet, PDS 70B, are the only known exoplanets whose formation processes have not yet been completed. Therefore, experts now hope to be able to understand firsthand the formation processes of planets and moons using this system. Now you're up! What do you think about these astronomical discoveries? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's contribution in the comments. Finally, take a look at the other exciting videos on our channel which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.